connection. Good afternoon, people. You yeah, come on, let's eat. I made some fufu for my okra soup. Mm. Hi, Mr. Mara. Hi, Tasha. How are you guys doing? Can you send a link for me first? Let me pin it before you move. Mm. I'm eating palm oil in the car, and I have a white shirt, so I have to. I have to put a bib. I didn't watch it yet. I was going to text, but it was late when I saw it. You guys, come on, let's eat. Y'all remember the, the, the okra soup I cooked last night? I made some fufu to go with it. Mm. Hey, Melinda, how are you? Happy to join you live today. Thank you. Yeah, you see why I put it? No, no. I'm going to make a mess. It looks good. I gotta move. The connection is bad. It's so bad. I need to check this internet in this house. Mm. Thank you, Miss Lace. Mm. Did you put salt? Put and the fufu. No. Mm -hmm. I never did. That's mm -hmm. Real. So it can be tasty. Mm. 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 Come get some, Miss Karen. This is fufu and okra soup. This is the okra soup that I cooked last night. Asma is driving me to them. So, I'm enjoying myself. It's good for somebody to drive you. How do they know I'm here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Haja, you need to go cook. <laughs> I'll come get some. I have a lot. Is your seatbelt? Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Naja, come get some. I live all the way in Kenesom. <laughs> Hold on. It's just to let me pin. I'm about to pin it. Mm -hmm. Come get some, my sister. You know, Chef Ruby is the best cook, eh? When I used to sell food to Auntie Roma, them shop, they always bother me. When are you going to bring the fufu? Mmm. Mmm. They like the igusi soup. We can hear you. We can hear you talking asthma. Mm -hmm. Is she a talking asthma? Mm -hmm. She said, we can hear you talking asthma. Because uh, I said, how do they know I'm here? Oh, okay. You, you Aja, please come. Tell Auntie Fatuto to give you my address. Mm-mm-mm. To she, pick up. she was asking about you the other day. Mm -hmm. Melissa, come in. Be careful, I don't put palm oil on my clothes. Sorry. I'm just driving. Um, so, mm. it's not working. We're sending, let me pin you. Stop. Just stop for a minute. Who wants some fufu? Fufu and okra soup. Mm -mm. Come get some, please. Mm. I cook a lot yesterday. I have a whole pot at the house. Come first, come serve. <laughs> 
fresh come first serve. I say come fresh come serve. I didn't put no meat, I only put fish. I love the fish. In the okra? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I mean, I didn't take meat. Oh, yeah. I have oh, okay. meat in the okra. I didn't take no meat. Chef, don't mess up your clothes. That's why I put this towel. Mm. That's why I put the paper towel here. So I don't mess up my clothes. Mmm. Mmm. Well, we do miss the food. <laughs> it's been a long time though since I stopped going there to sell food. It's been a while. Everybody miss my food. Up to today, people still going to that gas station looking for me. Where is that girl? Where is that lady here? Nah, we we'll miss her breakfast. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to go out there and find authentic food in any restaurant. Very difficult. Because some people, it's not that they don't know how to cook, but they're trying to manage. That's why they cannot serve good quality food out there. Any restaurant, if you manage cooking, you're not going to cook good. Because the amount of ingredients you're supposed to put in your food, you're trying to cut it down. And just imagine you're cooking for, for a large group of people. If you're trying to manage what you're putting in that pot, nobody's going to enjoy. Miss Kali said, I miss your restaurant. <laughs> Y'all pray for me to deliver this baby safely. I have some plans under my um, sleeve for you guys. I'm going to do something where everybody that want to taste my food, they will taste it. All you need to do, maybe go to a, a website and order. They will going to ship it directly to you. So, I'll pray to God for God to put me down slowly. Eh, you see the way I did my makeup today? Like, like, God. <laughs> Hey, pregnancy is something, eh? <laughs> I did my makeup like I just came from the village. So look, look here. There is no makeup here. All, everything is oil. Anybody can tell that I have makeup on. <laughs> hey, pregnancy is something else. <laughs> Inshallah, I'll keep you in my prayers. Thank you, Sister Hajar. Sister Aja, I need to call you. I need some good, good clothes. I've been seeing all the outfits you're wearing. I need some good African clothes for my name in ceremony. But I'll call you. I saw the number. You texted to me. I'll call you. Miss Regina, come eat Fufu. You know Fufu? Regina Jones, Montgomery. Do you live in Montgomery, Georgia? Eh, eh. Montgomery, Alabama? Or oh, Montgomery is your last name? I don't know. I know America, they, America, they, they named their last names or first names to something, right? To some, the other day I saw a lady, she said her name is uh, 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 Mercedes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I said, what's your name? She said, my name is Mercedes. I said, okay, I need a Mercedes then. <laughs> no problem, I'll call you sister. Lisa, come eat fufu. Yeah, Mary, I'm going to start shipping food by the grace of God. Me and Nazma, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to be serious about this food business. She's going to be my boss. She's going to be my boss. There's a lot of money to be made out there. But you have to be serious about it. So, after this baby, thank God I'm getting all the gifts from you guys. We're going to have... We're going to have one stroller. No, no stroller. Those things you sit the baby down. How you call them? The baby, um, baby sitter. We're going to have one or two baby sitter in the kitchen. Somewhere in the, in the kitchen. That baby is going to be sitting there watching us cook. You know? So we're going to have sitters everywhere. Home and restaurant. That baby is going to be sitting here watching us cook. I need to start making money again like before. Your fruit is kind of broke right now. It's almost a year. 
over a year now, I'm not making money like before. I have to get back into business. Thank God. My mama, how are you? Thank God, God is blessing me with this last baby. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. After this one, done. No more baby. I'm not going to dream of no baby. <laughs> You know, so it's time to make money. Montgomery is my married name. So Montgomery is your husband's last name. Okay. So that means your husband is from Montgomery. <laughs> Thank you, my baba. Montgomery. Mm. I don't think I should say what I want to say. Because most of, most of, um, most of our ancestors last name here from the from America is is from the Oibo people, right? Like uh, yeah. that's the story that I hear though. I say they said most of their last name is the from slave the days. slave masters. My last name is a slave master. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to start baptizing some people in this place. I'm gonna say, Bosh, you are you are Kamara. Your last name is Kamara. <laughs> I need to <laughs> That's a, I I need to do a crusade. I'm going to I'm going <laughs> I'm going to call myself the Africa the Africa ancestor mother. So I'm going to have a crusade state to state. Everybody needs to come. All my people as soon as I touch your head, gosh, you are Kuroma. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you are Koroma. You 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 not you not Montgomery. You are you are Koroma. You are Conte. They have a lot of Conte though. Conte 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 Conte. That movie. Conte Conte. Conte Conte. Conte Conte. Conte Conte. Conte, Conte. Uh huh. Conte. Conte or Conte. It's Conte. They they no, spoil like that. They didn't, they didn't. I'm telling you, Conte. That's the original. It's my last name. They spoil. No. Conte, Conte Conte. Is the original. Okay. Okay. So, we have a lot of contents in this place. We don't know. So, I'm going to have a crusade. I'm going to go state to state. All the, how many? 52 states? It's 52 states we have, right? In America. You don't know. You're born here. 51 states. How many states we have? 50. Oh, 50? <laughs> I'm going to add two. <laughs> I'll start in Montgomery. It's Alabama. Uh, uh, Salma. I'm going to start in Salma, Alabama. That place where, 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 where they did that bridge crossing. That's where I'm going to start. I'm going to do my crusade. Everybody come. All of you guys come. I have everybody last name. The moment I touch your head. <laughs> you are Sise. You are Sise. And they say 52 states. That means I'm correct. Yeah. I'm correct. I went to my interview. I passed. So it's 52 states. Thank you. Hmm. I know my history. I, I was not born here, but I know my little history. But those last names, like this Gresham, mm -mm. I need to go change my last name to Conte again. Because this Gresham stuck with me already. I'm going to go change it. I, 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 don't, I'm, I think I'm just careless though. What do I need to do? Go to the social security office or go to the courthouse and change it? People, what should I do to change my last name? Should I go to the courthouse or social security office? Chef Ruby, your cousin married my cousin Desiree in Sanford, North Carolina. Hey, which cousin is that? Hey, we will have too much cousin now. But this cousin, not, do I have a cousin in North Carolina? Desiree, 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 Desiree. Masiree, Desiree. Who is Desiree? What's the name of my cousin? To the social security office. Okay. I'm going to cut office to change your name. So That's now nice. I'm confused. But I'm going to do research. I, I need to go back to my family name. Then if I got married, legally married to Lover Lover, then I can change to Lover Lover last name. 
or maybe I'll just wait then I'll do it once instead of do it twice right yeah so yeah some of these last names oh no what's which American last name do you know Gresham what else because me I know all most of the African last names do you know the America's last names can you call I mean, some call some let me hear you I want to hear you call some you know the other day I saw Gresham Street mm -hmm. I saw I saw Gresham Street I said where is my grandpa I was looking at the street I was going to Auntie Rose right by by her house you went to her yeah then I saw Gresham something. I said, hey, that's my last name. My grandpa used to live here. Let me go look for my grandpa. And that was in the hood too. <laughs> yeah, on the south side? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted to change my... <laughs> I wanted to change my last name <clears throat> once. Mm -hmm. Let's go change. Wilson. Uh -huh. Please, you guys give me all the... All the last names from here. Wilson and what else? Let me see. Wilson. I've seen Wilson. I've seen um, Montgomery, Gresham, and what else? Go to court, fill out form, then take to social security. Okay. I'm gonna do it though. Uh, I'm tired of Gresham last name. For real. Oh, well, I'll just leave. Huh? I'll just leave then. You leave where? You say you're tired of Gresham. No, not you. I said me, I'm tired of Gresham last name for me. You, you are original Gresham. Me, I'm not original. Me is by marriage. So I can change mine anytime. You, you can never change your... Mm -hmm. <coughs> Freelo. That's a last name in America. Freelo. Freelo. Eh? Mm. Freelo. Yeah, some, some last names. Bro. Johnson. Right. And um, Bates. E. So well, eh? Wow. Ford. <laughs> Not for Ford. Ford, you know Ford, eh? You know Ford? Which Ford? <laughs> God for them. Ford, the car company. Wow. Where did they even make up that one from? To have a Ford. And Mercedes, Lexus. My husband last name is Lewis, but he's from Sierra Leone. Ahem. Lewis, Lewis is an original last name. So, like your husband now, your husband, maybe he came over here for himself, or when he was born. Because most of those um, slavery last name is our all all ancestors that came here as a slave get them right. Then they pass them on to their kids, right? Am I making sense? They pass them on to their kids. So, but some people maybe they some people maybe some people kept their original last names from Africa. Uh, yes, it's my median name. Okay, Tracy Brown. Gloria Gemij eh? Gloria Gamaji Mila Robinson. I think we have Robinson in Africa. It's original no slave. <laughs> okay, Jones, Johnson, Brown, Green. <laughs> Brown. Niece last name is Ford. <laughs> I'm not laughing, but I'm just saying like most of the American names or last name they belong to some some type of something like properties or companies and stuff like that. Internet connection is not good. The phone keep going on and off. You don't want to eat fufu, but you want me to eat fufu. I mean, you know I don't eat fufu. Well, you should I eat potato leaf. I don't want that. So, you, what, what make you think I want fufu this early morning time? 
If I know you order food, I should have said maybe order for me too. Be careful now, it's too close here. It's too too close on that side. Oh, go in. These people didn't have good. Mm -hmm. Be careful, you don't scratch this car. Mm -hmm. Clinton. Clinton is a last good last name. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, I need to baptize some people. I need to baptize some people. Hey, but African too, they have last name. No sound. That's why they they they. Because your your car is, your phone is connected to the car. Well, take it off. Shoot off. Can they hear me? Can you guys hear me now? I turned the Bluetooth off. But they was hearing me this whole time because they respond to what I was saying. Hey, hey, you, hey, this Pekin, she ordered food, she never ordered for me. Hey, Pekin, you, hey, Pekin, you, give me water, buy me one bottle of water. Buy me water, one bottle of water. Even the pasta, we're going to share. She buy pasta, she make me eat fufu. You see this picking this country. She ordered nice pasta from one of the, the, the restaurants that I like, crepers. Then she sit that here. She watching me eating this fufu this morning. This girl cannot say, Mommy, you don't have to eat fufu right now. I'm I'm buying pasta or I'm ordering something. Don't have issue with with sound. Thank you. You know, she should have said, Mommy, I'm ordering this food from this place. What do you like? She know I like their salmon. I like their lamb. I like their pastas. She never asked me. Oh, she ordered her good, good food, and she went and cook fufu for me. She make me sit in here eating fufu this this afternoon. This pasta we're gonna share. That's my greedy. She don't like to share. Today we're gonna share. Come see fight, okay? She don't like to share her food. That's why she sit down, she quiet, she make me full with this fufu. And she don't know me, we are two right now, I'm going to eat again. She don't know that. So she keep quiet, she make me swallow all this fufu. Now she just pull over this place. I say, why you pull over here? Oh, I order pasta. She never told me at the house there, mommy, I'm ordering pasta, so so and so so place. Do you want anything from there before ever she cook that fufu for me? Tell her, don't be mean to you. That's my is not me, no. But when it comes to food, hey, when it comes to food, hmm, that's my being like that since five years old. She don't like to share her food. She will only share after she's full. After her stomach is full, the rest she will share. But for for her to start eating, then you want to dip your hand in there and share. Hey, God, it's a big fight. <laughs> she will be like that since she was young. When there was babies, her and Madu, you know, she's a little older than Madu them. So they will be sitting in the back, me, I'm driving. Maybe I already stopped at McDonald's. I buy everybody meals and stuff. Now I'm driving, trying to pay attention. Five minutes later, I'm just going to hear one of the boys screaming, Hey, give me my food! What are you? <laughs> Nasla going to finish all her meal. Now she's going to snatch one of the boys' food. <laughs> So I'm going to tell her, tell the boy, why you play with the food? Eat. Because you know, if you don't eat it, that's why I'm going to come for it. <laughs> now, I don't know we African parents are too, are too clever. <laughs> tell her, we're going to share that food together. Man, that's why I used to cause me trouble on the road if I'm driving. This girl will have her own meal, french fries, whatever she chews and a drink. Five minutes she finish. Now she is watching one of the boys. Anyone that play with their food, your food is going down. So now I'm gonna be driving. I'm just gonna hear one of these kids screaming back there. Sometimes I have to pull over. I said, "What's going on?" That's what took my food. That's what took my food. Oh! Said, <laughs> and when she take it, <laughs> she gonna she gonna kill me today. When she take it, she not only gonna take it and hold it for a minute, 
When she take it, she'll go for I think she take after me. She's coming. You you see the way you guys say in Chef Ruby, you eat fast, you eat a lot. That's my twin partner right here. I say buy me bottle water, you go they give me tap water. water. Ah. Okay, bring the pasta, let's eat. Ooh. You're not giving me pasta. Today, this whole world gonna look at you greedy me pasta. And if my baby come here with a black mark, no, pack, don't move yet, start eating. You cannot drive and eat. If you give me some, then I'll drive you to, to eat. I was I'm telling them how greedy you are. Now you're gonna prove to them that you're greedy. <laughs> you said she don't care. Show them this pasta bar. Hey, pasta with salmon as bar. Pasta with salmon and a lime on top of it. And you're gonna greedy me. Hey, this is not gonna happen today. Show them the plates. Show them the plate, that one. They want to see. Please. Well, show them. She want to greet me. That she don't want to show you guys. Give me. And you bring one fork too. I have two. You didn't put no hot sauce on the side. No. Mm. Mm. Guys, I'm taking my drink. That's my hold my hand. <laughs> I'm not leaving her alone. How eh, are you gonna buy this good food you want to greedy me? It's not gonna work. I'm not even trying to greedy you. You just say you're not giving me nothing. Don't cover this food, Nazma. I'm not covering it. <laughs> Don't cover this food. Give me some. Let me taste. I'm not even gonna eat a lot. I just wanna taste. Because you make me eat all this fufu without telling me that. You're gonna order food so now you have to satisfy yourself first but if it's mine you want to taste it first before me i taste it no that's how it goes i only do that if i want to take a video of your food no you always want to taste people food first then when it comes to your food you want to eat it till you satisfy before you you give somebody so now let me taste it's my tongue <laughs> Shara said oh nasma <laughs> There's a lot of food anyway. I'm mixing it. You don't want this? Mm -hmm. Hold on. How much for this? Mm -hmm. What's the name of this one? This one looks different. Mm -hmm. This baby no good food, eh? Mm -hmm. Why are you eating on my side? Oh, not real food. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Greediness is not good. This girl eating on my side, so I don't have enough pasta on my side to eat. Why are you doing that? Why, why are you trying to make it seem like I'm a bad person? You're not bad. I'm not sure. <laughs> She's looking for all type of way not to share this food. Why you have to eat on my side, Nazma? I'm not eating on, it's not. You don't have a side. <laughs> She finished everything on my side here. What? She said I don't have a side. You don't. <laughs> so what do I have? Tasting? Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. like, what kind of child you are? Okay. That's enough? You eat your pasta, baby. The salmon. I cannot eat the salmon. Hey, <laughs> Godfather. <laughs> yeah, I gave you some salmon. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you eat with that, make sure you take a lot on the spoon. You won't take small. Mm. 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 Give me some more. Mm. Oh, this pasta is good, eh? I wish you have little house sauce on the side. Mm. What is this mushroom? Mm -hmm. I like mushroom. Mm. You hear the 
jackpot last night. I'm being nowhere. Salmon pasta. Lie, lie, lie. Eh? This girl was hiding the good food. They, they, um, she I can't take it all. You begin go order food from the restaurant. They make me can't eat for food. Mm. You said this is my salmon, so I cannot eat it. You know, you split it. You said this is mine, so let me eat my side. Mm -mm. Exactly, you can't even have hot sauce. I can't have to, I can't have a lot, or I can't you eat You can't some. have it at all. Mm -mm. Mm. That's why I'm not even going to eat a lot, because there's no hot sauce. It's too risky. You give me one crab. Give me another crab. Let me give, I didn't give you one crab. It's you only took, one you crab. one crab. So let me take one more. I'm just taking one. Mm. Thank you, Miss Linda. To share food in this car is a problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a problem. If it's my food, by now it's gone. But when it comes to yours, it's a problem. Mm. Thank God I was in this car. Mm. I want to buy you back some food. No, it's the bones you, you, you when you order, you didn't even tell me that you was ordering. Mm. You see me cooking, you uh, eating fufu. Mommy, you said one. One more. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I mean, dip it in the sauce. You still have more there, Nazma. Mm. This is how they call this crab watch. Fingers? Crab fingers. Mm. It's a very good restaurant. They have good food. What's your name? Capers? Mm -hmm. Restaurant yeah. and bar. Capers Restaurant and Bar. They have very good food. So if you are, if you live in this area, come try them. Their food is very good. They cook good. They have good cooks. Me, I'm done. I'm full. She make me swallow fufu. Now she's eating all this good food. Mm. Mm -hmm. You're gonna make me swallow food for you eating all the good food. Mm -mm -mm. Crab little. Oh, crab little cousins. That's crab little cousins. <laughs> mm. That's just crab fingers. It's so good. They, they put it in some kind of Alfredo sauce. And you eat it with some garlic bread. It's so good. Let me show you. Show them the plate. Show them. Crab. This is the crab fingers. They put in some, some type of Alfredo sauce with garlic bread. Anytime I come there. It's like appetizer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes when I come to sit down and eat, I eat it as appetizer. This Crepers restaurant is very good. I don't know if this is the only location they have. Mm. They have other locations. Mm, okay, so. mm. No, I don't think this is the only location. I've seen I've seen them somewhere else. Really? Yeah, Crepers. I think they have one in the south, or national somewhere. Mm. I think so. It's, I think it's black owned. Yeah, it's a black owned business. Mm. Delicious though. The food looks delicious and it tastes delicious. That's the restaurant right there. Crepers. Crepers Bar and Restaurant. Capers, man. Capers. Huh? Capers? Yeah. yeah, Capers Bar and Restaurant. You guys can see the name right there. Is in um what's the name of this highway? Like Barrett Parkway. Barrett Parkway by the Publix. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's right here. Please. It's a black owned business. Y'all come support them. Um Capers. You see, you know Hollywood stars people come here too? To yeah, eat. Cool. Well, I've met, um, well, not Hollywood, I met Atlanta housewife. Ooh. Uh, this girl, this Jamaican girl, with her mom. Price? Huh? Price? 
Atlanta Housewives? No, no Spice. No, Atlanta Housewives. Oh. No, no is, is he Atlanta Housewife? No. Love and Hip Hop? I think Love and Hip Hop, the Jamaica lady that had a miscarriage. She's Jamaican, she's tall. She had a miscarriage and she had a baby right away. She was here with her mom one day when I came to eat. Yeah, you see? It's a black-owned business. It's right here. They call it Capers Bar and Restaurant. It's very good. The food is good. Their food is good. They have good chefs in there. If I recommend food, please. Mm -hmm. She's what? She's broke? She's drunk? Yeah. And she's going to jump in that car to drive? How you know she's drunk? I've seen her at the bar. That doesn't this mean she's might, drunk. No, she... Mommy, okay. Well, she cannot drive if she's drunk. She go right in the driver's Some seat. Some people just don't care. Mm -hmm. And that's wrong. So how you know she's drunk? She was going like this? Yeah, and she was like... There was this white guy at the bar with her. And then they were like just... If you've seen it, you'll be like, okay, these people are drunk. Oh, wow. Well, now she's going to risk her life and risk other people's lives driving drunk. Um, This belle woman, fine. She is glowing. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. I don't feel like that, though. Sometimes I don't feel like that. Sometimes I just feel like, oh, my God, what's going on? <laughs> Sometimes I just feel like, when is it going to be over with? Ooh, I'm tired. No, I don't like Nazma is right. Some people don't care. Definitely. A lot of people don't. See, I can't say good afternoon, ladies. Nazma, please share with my sister. The food looks delicious. This one? Hmm. I always share. No. Sharing is our enemy, this one. <laughs> you know me, I say it like it is. I like, get actually got good stuff. Nazma, she'll share. She will share, but after she eats, she feel good, then now she want to share. And if the food is not enough for her, hey. <laughs> if Nazma have good food and that food is not, is not enough for her, trust me, you can look till blood come out of your eyes. You're not going to eat it. <laughs> this one. She like food like me anyway. I cannot blame her. But me, but me, I share. Me, I'm not greedy. You, you are the greedy one. <laughs> now, my, let's say the truth. Me, I'm not greedy. Me, though. even if I have little food, I share. But I think. Yeah. So the thing is, I'm not greedy. Mm -hmm. Explain. I I just have this thing where. I don't like when people try to eat my food and I didn't eat it yet. So they, therefore, I, I don't share it. Cause like, why are you trying to dig in my food and I haven't touched my own food yet? You know, so, like that's the, that's. The so what about like I'm your mom? I'm I'm so Mommy, hungry. You don't, you don't count. I count. I am. I'm, I'm inside. <laughs> I'm number one. No, you're not. Oh yes. I give you food. Mm -mm. You have to taste it first, and exactly you have to eat it like three, four, five spoons. But that, but you're still gonna Before. get food. <laughs> So what about if I'm your mom, I'm sitting too, I'm hungry, I'm desperate, I want to eat. Do I have to sit and wait for you till you eat first before I eat? You know how we do it in Africa? Africa, the moment you put the plate down, whoever is around you, everybody come join and eat. That's how we do it. I don't want to say you wait first, you wait, you wait, let me taste mom, nom, nom, nom. Then I say, okay, you two taste one. We don't do that. Well, <laughs> I mean, I say, well, <laughs> you guys come, why come, I see about acting like this? pull it all the way back in and pull it back. I just did somebody that. come judge this case. Somebody come judge this case. So is it right? Ooh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's my people coming. Look at Gandele. I don't like people digging in my food either. When you are pregnant, you want to taste everything. It's not about pregnant too. It's not about pregnant. It's not about nothing. First of all, this girl make me swallow fufu. I when, didn't. No, 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 yeah, no. no. Yeah. She I make didn't me, make her swallow fufu. She make me swallow fufu while she called this restaurant that I like. I love their food. 
and order the food that I like. And, and she didn't even tell me from the house there, mommy, wait for the fufu later in the evening. I'm ordering food from Capers so we can eat. We drove from my house to this restaurant like 10, 15 minutes. Nazma never mentioned that I'm picking up food or I just order food. Right? Because it was on the way. No, but you order from the house. Yeah, but that was after I made your fufu. <laughs> I, it was okay. even before we talked about food. Mommy was like, can you make me some fufu? I said, okay. I, then I thought, yeah, I'm hungry too. Let me just order some food. I didn't think you wanted that. Like, Did you Did you ask Mommy, me? you were going to get some of my food anyway, though. And you know that. You were going to get some of my food anyway. Mm-hmm. And we get the same thing. Mm-hmm. Like, Hi, Miss K. How are you? Miss K said, I miss you, Ruby and Asma. Hope you are all well. And congratulations to the bundle of joy. And I'm... What? I'm... Oh... I'm a sheer, LOL Nazma. Miss K, you know we would love to share. But Nazma. Um, mommy, why do you keep saying that? But my Nazma that I born. <laughs> they said your voice is too cute. <laughs> my own Nazma that I born. I carry this stomach for nine months and born. Hey, God. Every how old mom she don't like to share this one. That's not true. You're still supposed to ask if anyone else wants food. Thank you, Miss Kala. <laughs> how could I even pay for my own food though? If my if if my mom was already eating, why 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 would I ask her? Oh, do you want food from here? If she's already going to be full. And <laughs> I already know. Let me tell you. I already ordered the food. That's why so, you get me. No. That's mommy. why you get me. Because you want me to I, be full without food. Guys, I did not <laughs> intentionally, like, order food to greedy her. Or, and, like, she was already eating. So, I was like, you know what? I'm hungry, but I don't want the food at the house. So, I ordered the, my food. She was going to get food anyway. Like... <laughs> She was gonna eat my food anyway. I already know. This restaurant gets big portions. Like, she was gonna get my food anyway. Like, I'm not greedy though. Like, <laughs> okay. She explained, right? Okay. Can you repeat what you said? No. So, they said order house too. You should have ordered mine too. Those that salmon you order, you should have ordered two plates. Because you know when I go home, I might eat some. Pregnant people need food for for now and later. <laughs> well, anyway, we're just having fun. There's not as much she share, for real. She, the only thing she said it, she will taste her food first. She will eat till she's almost full. Then oh. she... <laughs> There's certain things, yes, there's certain things that I will not share. <laughs> there's certain things that I will, just won't share. She's coming to my head. Certain things, but, like, if I have food and stuff, I'm going to share it. Like, you know. Only if you ask, them. <laughs> do you guys know the big problem I, I here? offer people, too, at the same time. Like, I offer, too. Like, I'm like, do you want to taste this? Like, if we got to eat or something and we all get some No, no, no. Hold on. Miss, Miss Half now, or whatever. This food don't have sodium, oh. This is... This is home cook. That crap. No. <laughs> but you guys are missing the point here. The point is, it's two greedy people. Mommy, two, you greedy. two greedy people sitting here. Two people that love food. That's the problem right here. She loves food. I love food. So the easiest thing for me, maybe she would have asked me, Mommy, I'm ordering food. Or do you want a plate? Because she knows I'm going to jump on her plates. It don't matter if I'm full or not. When I see food... I like, I will jump on it. So it's two greedy people that love food. That's where they that's where the argument is here right here. But at the same time, we have we have enough food to share. And we always share. But we share when we feel like sharing. <laughs> 
when we don't feel like sharing, then it's a problem. She will do the same thing. Just imagine if I'm the one that ordered that food for myself, eh? I didn't say nothing. As soon as I jump in this car, Nazma will be the first one to jump in that food. The only difference, how she will start eating before me that own my food I eat. But how she will eat three, four spoons first. She will get all the good parts, take all the good veggies. <laughs> we still have food. Even all this talking, the food we didn't finish. It's sitting right there in the back. We that's why you left a lot yes, of food, yeah, right? Yeah, more than enough for two people. Yeah, right? more than enough. So the food is still here, though. We don't have to order any more food. Yeah, but it's two greedy people anyway. Well, both of us, she's my twin sister. She loves food, I love food. So me and her will go back and forth on food, especially good food. We'll go back and forth. Mommy, wait. Mommy, wait. Let me taste first. Mommy, wait. I say, no, let me taste you know, so that's what the argument is. <laughs> uh, uh, Miss Le... What? Adeshan. Adeshan? Adeshna. Adeshna. Hey! Oh my God. See, some of these names, they're going to put me back to school. <laughs> some of these names, I have to go back to school. Hold on, let me show them the restaurant. Can they see? Mm -hmm. Oh, aha, aha, aha. The restaurant. Anyway. That's, that's no, I already paper. showed them. Capers, Capers. Can see you. Yeah, I showed them Capers restaurant. It's very good. Google it. If you live in the Kennesaw area, come eat. It's oh my god, the food is good. Mm -hmm. I love their food. Yeah, they have original chefs in there that cook the yeah. food. They you tell them, you tell them make it they make it fresh. Mm -hmm. They make it fresh. Any food you order from this restaurant, they cook it fresh. So I will recommend it to all of you guys. If you come in town, Google it. I'm sure they have different locations. If I ever had um, family come visit me, this is why I'm bringing it. Mm -hmm. It's not too far from our house either. Mm -hmm. The water finish you. They put it's small good. water, a lot of ice. Yeah, I don't know why she did that. But I think she scooped the, the ice with the cup. Oh, she scooped it with the cup? Yeah, if she did it on the machine, it would oh, oh, watch out. You see I that? See, I see. Yeah. That, that, I'm not in the attorney lane, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. So where are you going straight? Huh? You going straight here? Yeah, I'm making love. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why I wonder, I see this girl turning in here. I say, Nasma, why are you turning? Not knowing that she already ordered this food. Oh. Hey, but thank God I eat some. Uh, Miss Kathleen, how are you? Miss Kathleen said, hi doll, happy Thursday. How is my family doing today how is the baby doing all of us we are doing fine me and asma just over here fighting over food talking about food and stuff like that because we love food we love to eat you know but it's always good to share food with your family it's very important whether you share with them right away or you eat some and leave some whatever either way you want to share just share sharing is caring it's good to share food you know because me for me where i came from that's why some people some people that are born here they wonder why african people eat together why they eat in the same bowl with hands da, 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 da. where i came from that's how we do it everybody sits on the floor or on the table everybody eat together you know it's love it brings you guys together as family but here although you guys don't eat together in the same bowl with hands or spoon but you can portion the food you can portion the food by plates just to share with your family you know guys you see 21 people i'm going to end the live now because um the phone was hot the phone was hang on the thing so the heat you guys know the heat you know there is not one of those restaurants here where i live not even an african restaurant oh i'm sorry to hear that you're absolutely right i was taught to eat and share with my family as well when one eat all eat definitely we all eat definitely that's how it's supposed to be especially when it comes to food you know chef ruby is there a african cuisine that's that's your favorite african cuisine you're talking about atlanta or you're talking about African food that is my favorite. 
what is what was she, she said um is oh american okay is there an american cousin that is your favorite mm. do you know anyone that is my favorite like what's your favorite uh, american type of food like do you like american soul food american barbecue stuff like that I like American McDonald's. <laughs> That's the <different. laughs> American burgers. But American cuisine. Oh, what do I like? They're yeah, good. Me, I'm a real typical African woman that eats African food almost every day. <laughs> but um if like 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 the way Naz my grandma used to cook. I used so to love her food. That's the real homemade though, that's right? the real homemade soul food. When grandma cook, yeah. I will eat till my stomach is full because when no, she you no, know, it's true. Yeah. When she cook her food, the only difference with African food, maybe the ingredients and the way she cook it, but the flavors, the flavors are the bomb, you know. So I used to pray for Thanksgiving every year for grandma to come to my house or or we go to our house to cook. Yeah. Grandma will start cooking from from Tuesday, Wednesday, mostly yeah. Thanksgiving and is on Thursdays, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. She will start cooking from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays. She yeah. baking bean pie, Marinating potato pie. Stuff, like. she, every day she marinates. She cook for three days for Thanksgiving. When you go to our house, you're gonna eat till your stomach wanna bust. So that type of soul food I love. But anything else like restaurant soul food, I've not find any good, good, good. Cause there's stuff we can. Yeah, they use can, so maybe that's why it's hard for me to like yeah. soul food out there. You it's know? not really real, no real soul food. I'm there, praying bro. for me to find grandma recipe. She used to write a lot of recipes mm -hmm. for for Nazma, especially for Nazma. So I'm gonna talk to her kids to see if, if she can if they can find that recipe for us. Even the last time I we saw her, she sh she showed us the book where she was writing those recipes. Yeah. yeah. So for some reason, I didn't pay attention to learn a lot from her. You know, I learned some, some, some. Maybe I even forget the ingredient what to put exactly. You know, if I would have patient and learned from grandma. By now, I would have been the, the best soul food cook in this place, you know. But I'm going to try my best to look for her recipe book. She showed me the recipe book. She have a whole recipe book that she was writing for her grandkids. She said, especially for Nazma. So I have to put pressure on her kids to find me that book in her house. They have to still there. sorry yeah the phone get hot so i have to turn the cold air on so i can turn the phone down mm, that's why yeah i love soul food but it has to be like homemade like good good soul food good flavors if not i cannot eat it you know 
yeah i think that's what a lot of african people are going through too here it's not that they don't love salt food but the way some people cook it a lot of people cook only with salt and black pepper that's it salt and black pepper or maybe paprika you know well, that paprika, people yeah that's paprika good. salt and black pepper that's yeah, it obey, like, obey. Uh, that's the only seasoning you have to you have to put flavor to your food the, the key to yeah. having good flavors mm -hmm. and stuff is herbs it's always herbs uh -huh. you gotta have good natural herbs, herbs. And, um, and vegetables yes and, and stuff like that yes. like you have to make um how you call it you know how you make tea mm -hmm. in the tea bag it mm -hmm. has the herbs and stuff or whatnot in the yeah y'all have to make those like especially if you're making like any soups or um that, oh yeah. my gosh you know, you make your color greens the way you're making it with your onions, right. turkey, that. Then you sprinkle that all purpose seasoning on it. I'm going to eat that colored greens till the next day. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. food is flavor. You have to, you have to flavor your food. But the way I see a lot of people cook over here, that black pepper and salt, black pepper and salt, paprika, garlic powder. Yeah, garlic salt. Garlic like salt, you know. They just be throwing stuff together. Like, yes. People don't even put mustard on chicken no more. So they don't know like mm -hmm. how to put flavors together and make yeah. flavors to make it good. Like, I don't know. Did you ever try your grandma fried chicken? Hey. Yeah. When that lady want to fry chicken, eh? She will season her chicken first and put it to the side. Then now she will come to the flour. She, she will flour. season that flour, season that flour. Before she bring, then she will mix the, the buttermilk too yeah, on the, the side and milk. season that one too. <laughs> so now she's gonna dip here, dip here, dip here, and dip and dip in the oil. If you if you buy that chicken, <laughs> Godfather, you, you, you know you buy that chicken, you really gonna feel like you eating food, you know. But some other places now you gonna see the chicken look golden brown, but when the moment you, you bite it. it no flavor inside nothing yeah. nothing so that's not going to make you like uh, um food yes i put your all-purpose seasonings in my colored green so good thank you my dear that's all i was trying to 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 make here even if you don't use my all-purpose seasoning just find a good seasoning that can that can give flavor to your to your food food is all about flavors i can understand people that are sick you know diabetic this that that, that, that that you can eat plain food but if you're not sick trust me you need some flavor caribbean people cook with a whole lot of flavor love how we cook definitely caribbean african we are almost the same you know because when i eat caribbean food it'd be like mo this yeah it'd be like almost the same with us maybe just a slight different with the way of cooking like we all have different like yes native, um, home dishes and stuff yeah. like that but Mm -hmm. See, a lot of the same thing. Like that red snapper they make with the yeah. ex ex to be, ex to be fish, plantain. Yeah, it's the same. The only thing, if we cook red snapper, we cook it with red stew, or we do saute onions, but we don't cook it like the Jamaican, the way they do it. Mm -hmm. Jamaica will cut, cut their onions so big with carrots and lime juice and this, they make it sour. But we, when we do our fish, we just make like plain stew. Some of them, they, they um, deep fry it. Yeah, and um, they make it with um. Plantain. Have you ever tried um? Or they make it with aki. Trinidadian, Trin, Trinidadian food chef, Trinidad food. Yes, I've went to a Trinidad festival. Yeah, I've went to a Trinidad festival one year. I tried their food. It was some type of rice. It was some type of rice. They put some green stuff in it. They put some green stuff in that rice. Then with some type of sauce to eat with it. It was so good. I love it. Yeah. They boil Trinidad and they boil a lot of stuff like boiled potato, boiled plantain. Then they have the green stuff, the green veggies to eat with it. I like that kind of stuff. Yes. So I've tried Trinidadian food. Uh, Marian said, Chef Ruby, are you still selling your seasonings? I have a bunch of seasonings. I'm looking for one day me and the kids can go on sale. I want to sell out everything that I have then then I'm not gonna be I might shut down the website till after the baby you know because when I have the baby I'm having c-section it's gonna take me some time 
to to make any seasonings or ship any it's going to take some time so after after i feel better then i can start all over again i want to rebrand everything um kalalu i love kalalu I, if somebody make me a good kalalu i would eat it i love kalalu the other day i was feeling like eating the um ex uh -uh. i was feeling like eating the salt fish Oh. The fish. Have you had aki and salt fish? That's what I'm talking about. That, that aki and salt fish. Good. Yeah. The other day I, I was just. I saw one lady on TikTok making it. I wanted to eat it so bad. Aki, aki is expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted, but Jamaica. but it's not everybody know how to make it though. Right. Exactly. It's not everybody know how to make it. Yeah. So we're gonna choose a day and and and, and make and do sales on the seasoning so we can sell out everything that we have. Then we can be ready maybe by next year we'll rebrand the business again and it's like almost starting all over okay so that's my plan yeah so you, you guys just give me a little time it will be maybe this week or next week you you and Rashida have to help me with that. and go buy something for your baby jewel you know um, we have things there from five dollars and up so anything you can afford um, if you just want to support me or support the baby please go ahead and purchase something for the baby the website is pinned below i love all of you guys i appreciate you guys and i love the phone you don't take us personal oh why well, she said her baby is greedy whatever trust me me anything that's why even my own yeah, kids i tell them sometimes the i said don't take me for granted i like to have fun i like to make fun you they know be taking it seriously yeah some people will take it why yeah. why she talk to her daughter like that <coughs> why she said her daughter is greedy we've been joking about this <coughs> All this greediness, look at the food sitting back there, we didn't even finish it. So that tells you that we're we are making jokes or we are talking about rea something, reality, that can cheat some family, something. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's real life, you know? It's real life um, conversation we'll be having sometimes, me and the kids. So y'all don't take it personal, y'all don't take it serious. Trust me, me and my kids, we're like this. We can fight, we can bump heads, we can argue, we can disagree, we can agree. But we always come to a mutual understanding. You know what I'm saying? When your kids grown, your kids past 18, you're not going to expect them to be five years old again. You talk to them the way you want. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No. They're going to have to say something. Ma'am, yes, I hear what you said, but I disagree with this. I agree with this. Oh, you know what I mean? You guys have to have that conversation with your kids you guys can disagree and agree if you all don't have that i rather have children that disagree and agree with me that we can convert than children that don't say nothing they're just quiet they don't say anything everything yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am you will never know what those kids are doing what's playing in their mind or what they're planning until it's too late until something bad happened or whatever you know so it's okay to have your children to go back and forth with them sometimes in, in some important issue, especially if they are grown. They pass that 18, 19, 20. They are old enough to know good and bad. They are old enough to say, Mommy, yes, you're right, but this and this and this. Let them have their own input to a conversation. Let them say what they what they feel in their hearts if you as a parent now you don't agree then you're going to come in and say you as a parent you always have to stand on your own feet too to say no this is how it has to be i understand what you're saying but no this is how it has to be or something like that so until you guys come to a, a, a understanding that what mommy is saying is right you know what I'm saying? And they always end up like that, mostly me and, me and you guys, right? Especially me and Rashida. We're going to go back and forth, back and forth. Then a few minutes later, she will come and say, Oh, mommy, you know, I, I thought about it. You're right. What you said, you're right. I, I understand now. Something like that. But if you don't have that conversation with your kids, you don't. sometimes you don't go back and forth on a conversation for you guys to understand what it means. Especially we Africans. Especially we that came from Africa. Our way of talking, our way of screaming, our way of understanding things over here is different. So if you are African parents, sometimes you don't be careful, you don't pay attention, 
you're going to go wrong with these kids here. Because the way we are brought up, the way we are raised back home, and their own raising here, their own culture here, is totally different. Africa, mama, papa, whatever they said, nerve cut, that's it. But here, you parents, you're going to say something when they go to school, is something different. So you see, it's two, it's two different parenting. So you as the original parent, you have to have that patience. You have to have that patience to listen to your kids, you know, to, to hear them, to hear them too, especially when they pass that age of 18, to hear them and listen to them too. You cannot just say, I'm always right, I'm always right. I used to be like that, my way or no way. But at this age right now, I have to listen to them too. Although I'm a very, I'm still a very stubborn African mom. They know that too. <laughs> but now I try to um, stay back a little bit and try to listen to them too, to hear them too. So you can understand their problem and you can see where to help and where to step in and where. And this job is not going to finish even if they get out of your house or even if they get married. You still have that job as a parent to step in because just imagine if your daughter go married to an abuser or to somebody they're going through stuff they can come to you still and, and and confide with you so you as a mom still have to be there to talk to them to help them make the right decision you know what i'm saying so i hope this conversation makes little sense i hope i make sense you know i love you guys and i appreciate everyone you guys take care be close to your kids don't pull away from them just because some people will say oh these kids are so rude oh these kids are damn lazy oh these kids are this you stay away from them you cut them off totally no life don't go like that the one thing i learned when these kids are growing up they said when they pass that 13 they're going to that teen. that's the time the job start that's the time the job start but the moment you lost track with them because of their behaviors or because of what they do then there is a problem you have to put yourself in their shoes when i was younger what did i do to my mom and dad when i was younger what was my behavior what's the headache i give to my parents put yourself in your in their shoes because some parents they want to be like they perfect they hundred percent perfect they know everything no you was once a teenager too you know what you did to your parent so when your kids get to that age you're supposed to understand them better than anybody else there is no perfect kids out there you can just say oh my child is prettier than you but most of the behaviors are the same so it's how you handle your own situation that's that's what's going to help your kids and help yourself so let's pray for our children let's pray for ourselves let's pray that god guide them because it's only god can guide and protect them more than us you know we we are just trying so we're just going to continue to pray for them because the moment they get into that age to move out of your house or to get married and go trust me is it's always scary it don't matter how old is your children you're always going to have that especially we mothers you're always going to have that 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 thing in your heart about your children are they okay it don't matter if they are 50 year old men or women or 40 you're still going to have that 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 in my country they say kumra heart how they say it in english kumra heart mothers that mother's heart mm -hmm. you know some dad's heart is stronger than mom's our mom's heart is soft so it don't matter how your children are grow you mother you're still going to have that that pain in your heart the moment you hear something happen to your child your stomach going to boil inside because you you're going to feel about that pain raising them bringing them up delivering everything inside you know so let's I'm continue like uh -huh. that's true though what? I get that the rings are supposed to be strong, but I feel like any like good dad, real dad, like their their heart will be soft for their kids too. No, but a man's heart, a man's heart is not soft. 
some men heart is soft but majority for men kids, not in general no even for kids men's hearts are stronger than women's the things you guys the things we can get away or every child you can get away with a mom sometimes you cannot get away with a dad you understand we're growing up in africa if we want to go out party after our dad said no we go through our moms because our mom sometimes they're going to say yes sometimes they're even going to cover for us they will open the door for us after we come from the party hiding sneaking you understand what i'm saying but dad will never do that if dad said no you're not going to that party then you sneak and go you're going to get a bad whooping you understand so that's what i mean mother's heart is softer than a dad's heart anybody can tell you that it don't matter if it's africa america any country you know Kids can leave a house and go. Men will say, go, don't come back. They don't even care. But mom, we're going to be sitting there crying every day, wondering, you know, what's going on. You know what I mean? It's just different. I hope you understand that, Asma. It's just di different. You know, it's different. The, the way most of the dads, just imagine here in America, the way single mothers are here taking care of children by themselves. And the dads are out there. Some dads are out there, they're doing very well, but they just stay away. They just don't want that responsibility. But your mom will never say, let me just leave and go. You know what I mean? And don't look back. So anyway, dad is, dad is tougher on the children. Definitely. Well, they have some moms that are really tough. Some, me, some moms, they like men. You know, they stand up for their kids. Yes. You know, but when it comes to reality mom's hearts are more softer for children than a dad in my country a dad can sacrifice you swear you abandon you like disown you but it's very hard for a mom to do that do you understand what i'm saying for example in africa growing up when kids go out of the way they go get pregnant sometimes when the dad kick them out of the house and disown them they don't want them anymore even if you bring people to come apologize, they won't accept you. But mom always there for you. You know? That's the difference. You are truly telling the truth. Thank you, Miss Virginia. Thank you. I hope everybody understands this conversation. You know me, my conversation sometimes is going left and right. But I just hope people can understand the main, the main, the main topic and the main conversation. That can help us a lot. You know, our cultures are different. America, you guys have your own culture. We have our culture. It's a different culture. But it depends to you, the individuals, how you raise your kids, how you grow up with your kids, how you do things with them. That's it. Mom try to be tough, but will give in. Definitely, Miss Ruby. That's what I mean. Definitely. 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 Yeah. But um, we are here where we was coming. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I will see you guys later. Don't forget to go get a little gift for the baby. The registry is up and it's pinned below. Click it and grab something for baby Jewel, okay? Baby, when my mom said no and you did it anyway, she told that tale of i got definitely my mom used to do that too but you know what after she told that tale of sometimes you see she's gonna come around and try to be nice and stuff like that dad would never do that <laughs> dad would never do that some dad will but majority of dad they would never do that <laughs> you know it's just it's just different anyway so see you guys later take care bye bye